Hannah Glass, whose 310th birthday is the subject of today's Google Doodle, is part of the reason we have the joy of cooking today. That's because in 1747, Glass popularized the modern English language cookbook as the author of The Art of Cookery Made Plain and Easy. I believe I have attempted a branch of cookery, which nobody has yet thought worth their while to write upon, the first page begins. At the time, cookbooks were mostly for fancy professional chefs, and mostly French, but Glass wrote her cookbook for housewives and domestic servants of the new middle class. With her help, Glass writes in her preface, I dare say, that every servant who can but read will be capable of making a tolerable good cook, and those who have the least notion of cookery cannot miss being very good ones. That idea, plus or minus an assumption of hired help, is more or less the concept that brought us the joy of cooking in the 20th century, anyone can make something edible with help, and most people can make something pretty good, as long as you have a book to show you the way. And like joy, the art of cookery is essentially a household encyclopedia, clocking it at over 400 pages in its facsimile edition. Most of the recipes aren't original, many of them were taken whole cloth from contemporary sources, but Glass's clean, crisp instructions rendered them usable to any literate person of her time, not just trained chefs. Glass doesn't just stop at food. She also offers recipes and techniques for soaps, medicines, cosmetics, and keeping a clean and vermin-free household, all of which she approaches with salt the earth gusto. For bed bugs, she advises mixing mercury with egg whites and anointing the bedstead with the resulting concoction. It is a certain cure, she concludes, and will not spoil anything. PSA, do not smear mercury over your bed. Looking over the book today, it can be tempting at times to try to use the art of cookery as a modern cookbook. Glass's assumption that her readers will be butchering their own animals and then thriftily using every part has a certain nose-to-tail trendiness, and quite a bit of her advice for best cooking practices holds up today. Most people spoil garden things by overboiling them, she remarks. All things that are green should have a little crispness for if they are overboiled, they neither have any sweetness or beauty. Too true, Mrs. Glass, too true.